In today's video, we're unboxing and checking out this. It's the Ring Alarm Outdoor Siren. Okay, so I've got my scruffy clothes on, ready to install this, the Ring Outdoor Siren. So I think right now, it's only available in the UK and Europe. Definitely not the USA, I do know that much. And it's one thing that I always thought was a bit weird about the Ring Alarm system. Here in the UK, it's very common that you have an outdoor siren on your house, so that if you are being burgled or most likely a spider set it off whilst you're on holiday for two weeks, everyone else gets to hear your siren blaring away. So you either have a real legitimate siren outside or a dummy box. That wasn't something that was available with the ring alarm. And so when you had the siren going off, it was just the siren inside with the ring alarm. It never used to be able to utilize the sirens of the cameras either, which always seemed really odd to me. But now they've brought this out, so let's unbox it and set it up and install it. And then I'll let you know kind of what I think. So it comes in kind of standard ring packaging. So we just pop open the lid here and we can see inside as we pull it out. That's it. This is what it looks like. So we'll un unwrap it. So we have the manual and some safety instructions. And again, yeah, these are all in European countries. There's nothing here for the USA. So I'll do a little bit of cardboard here to get it out. So then this is the alarm itself. I'll take the plastic packaging off so it doesn't reflect so much in a moment. And then just here, it's a little box that slides open with the, the mounting material. So there's four screws there with four rule plugs. No screwdriver, no drill bit. Maybe that's the thing of the past um, with ring, or maybe they're assuming obviously you've already got the alarm kit. So that was part of the kit or something. I'm not too sure, but let's remove the cellophane. Somehow, this up here. And slide this out. So there we go. So this is the size of it. So it's 23.5 centimeters top to bottom and left to right, and then 5.7 centimeters thick. Right now, uh, again, like I said, available in the UK, costs around 70 pounds, works with the first and second gen ring alarm system. And it's supposed to be about 100 decibels at 100 meters away. So it's pretty damn loud. And we will set it off in here, in the cave, which uh, might, might blow my eardrums out, um, but we shall see. In terms of the materials, this feels like a good, sturdy plastic, nice um, finish to it, and it's uh, supposed to support operating temperatures between minus 20 degrees centigrade up to 49 degrees centigrade, so perfect for here in the UK. Um, it doesn't say anything about making sure it's positioned out sunlight or anything. I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to put it on the front of my house or on the front of the cave. I think on the front of the house, but we'll get to why I'm deliberating that in a moment. Um, but it is water resistant, so you know it should be good. It uses Z-Wave like uh, the rest of the ring alarm system. So in terms of line of sight, uh, that's 76 meters. Obviously, you're not going to have this in line of sight to the base unit. But with that, with Z-Wave, wherever you put it, unless you've got a massive house, um, you should be absolutely fine. So obviously apart from being just an alarm, it also has a like from dusk till dawn feature, which we will look at and try and demonstrate in here if we can by closing the blinds. If we look a little around the back of it, we've got the four mounting points just here. Here's where the speaker is and see this, this is like a, an anti, I don't think it's an anti-theft deterrent. It's if a burglar tried to smash it off the wall, that would trigger that it's no longer attached. And I'm assuming we'll set the uh, alarm off. So if you pop things open, just slide the front down. Actually no, there's a screw hole. So we do need a screwdriver. So I have my trusty ring screwdriver from another job just here. So I just pop that screw off the bottom. It's 
also got a spring on it, which is interesting. So I don't know if that means it doesn't come out. Yeah, so the screw has a spring on it and it is retained inside there. Oh, and there is a spirit level in here for helping with the mounting as well. So that's actually quite good. They've incorporated some of those things that we've seen in the past. So here it is, the back. So it says it's um, Z-Wave. Now, if we look at some of the kind of powering options, I'll undo these three screws as well. So in here is three D-cell size batteries that Ring say will keep the alarm powered for three years. So three years, I'm, I know I'm saying five, but it's three years. Um, and that's assuming it gets set off about four times a year, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, there are some other ways that you can combine that power. I think you always want to have those D-cell batteries in here. It's good that they include them. You can also utilize one of their quick release batteries, just like this one, which will be familiar in the alarms and the stick up cameras, etc. But they say this only lasts for three weeks, which kind of seems bonkers to me because you're going to install this quite high up. You're not going to be going up and change this every three weeks. So they recommend if you're using this, then you'd also pair it with one of their solar panels, which is great. But I don't really want solar panels and stuff sticking at the front of my house. So I am going to put one of those batteries in and we will see how long it lasts. Um, and I will kind of report back in that, probably add it in the comments um, after this video has obviously been out for a little while. So we remove these three screws that are in here and we can push this whole section up. And then that then reveals the three Duracell um, D batteries. Here is the compartment where we can fit the quick release battery, which we're putting at the moment. In a moment, there's also a section at the bottom of here where you can wire this into the DC main. So it supports nine to twenty-eight volts um, for you to power it, like the doorbell uh, and things like that. And then they've got little rubber kind of grommet things in here to help kind of keep it waterproofed. And then they also suggest that if you are, like I said, using that battery, that um, there's a little grommet that you can remove here that you can then um, have the solar panel connected into it. So we'll see. Um, we'll go through the install process now, or at least the setting up process. I'll get it installed and then uh, we'll do some tests on it. So let me grab my phone and I'll be right back. Okay, so as with all Ring products, the install process is super duper easy. Open up the Ring app, which you will have had already, obviously, because you would have installed it to set up the alarm if you didn't have any other Ring products. Go to add a new device, then go to the uh, security section, and there's a whole new section there just for Siren. So you click on that, and obviously go through the step-by-step -step process, which is really straightforward. Before you've got to this stage, obviously you haven't removed the battery tabs or anything, so you wanna wait until the app is looking for the device. Obviously also making sure that you're in range of the base station. So again, within that 76 line of sight uh, parameters to make sure that the base unit can see the siren and everything should go um, pretty straightforward. You'll see as you're doing it that you will get a tamper uh, alert as soon as it has connected to the base station, which is a good sign because obviously it shows that the alarm isn't connected to um, the wall. So obviously that, that piece on the back that I told you about is the tamper um, alerting. Then you need to configure where you're adding it to. It's a bit strange that it's like trying to find an existing room because it's an outside siren. Um, so, But maybe some people might want to have the siren inside the house. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I just basically added this to a new room uh, for outside my house and then went through the rest of the setup process. The app, like again, all the other ring products, it shows you some installation guides on what you're gonna need and where you're gonna put it and takes you through some of the suggestions as well as what we've discovered or discussed already in the first part of the video in different ways that you can power it. So basically just follow the app 
through and then when you go to put it uh, in its desired location it talks about pressing this test button on the back now if you press the test button it flashes green then you're within range of the base station if you press it and it flashes red then again you've got a problem you either need to relocate your siren relocate your um, alarm base or buy one of those uh, extender repeaters from ring to give you a bit of extra coverage that's it super straightforward once um, you have that installed you can change some of the things in the app in terms of that from dust or dawn settings uh, the loudness of the siren how long it goes on for uh, and those kind of things which is kind of pretty straightforward so i'm gonna get up the ladder install this thing and then come back to you with my final thoughts on the ring alarm outdoor siren Okay, I'm a bit worn out now, but all installed and tested. So I think actually in the daylight, it's quite good that you can see the little red ring around it to obviously indicate that it's gone off. And the siren actually is, is pretty loud. One thing that I think Ring could have done is probably have a small solar panel within the ring alarm itself. I've got a kind of table light from Ikea that is made of a very similar plastic that has a solar panel inside it. So obviously a little bit of UV penetration gets through there and helps to keep the battery topped up. Now, I appreciate that that little battery or little solar panel wouldn't be enough probably to make it so you never had to charge that um, quick release battery, but it would have done something to kind of keep it ticking over. So as mentioned before, I'll add comments in the future when that quick release battery decides that it needs to be changed i'll put a comment about that and also obviously when those d-cell batteries run out which they say is three years but we shall see but it's quite good that you can change the loudness of the the siren so i've set it to the loudest because you want people to to hear you and i think the dust setting looks kind of pretty smart but i'm not going to leave that on because obviously that will drain the battery over time so I think unless you're going to have it permanently powered or decide that you're happy to run a solar panel up and have that stuck there, then um, I think probably just kind of don't bother with that personally. But I think this, they've done a pretty good job. The, the fitting was relatively straightforward. I hate being up on a ladder, but it was easy enough to kind of drill and put the raw plugs in and get it mounted. Just need to make sure that obviously if you've got slightly uneven bricks that I have, um, make sure that you have that plastic face plate quite flat uh, and don't kind of screw in too hard which will make the kind of adapters where it kind of hangs into position not line up properly because if you need to slide it on and keep in mind that you need at least the gap that you can get that screwdriver in on the bottom so don't put it too close to any obstruction or anything when you're going through it but yeah, I think the um, Ring Alarm Outdoor Siren is pretty good I'm glad that Ring have finally brought it out and uh, happy to be one of the first people to get my hands on it. But uh, yeah, let me know what you thought about this video and if you're going to get one, if you have any issues, if you um, have bought one. But I think it's pretty good. Leave comments down below. And obviously, I really appreciate it if you could like this video and perhaps even share it with other people. And if you've enjoyed this kind of video, other ring products and solar stuff and other geek gadget type videos, then please consider subscribing. I'm sure there'll be videos either in the past or those to come that you will find enjoyable. So please click subscribe and that little alarm notification bell would be much appreciated. Until now, stay safe, look after yourself and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.